Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video, and today we're gonna be doing the Halloween 2020 event together. It is a very enjoyable Halloween event, I've already done it on my main. You are gonna need no items, no teleports, nothing like that. If your agility is low, you can consider taking a stamina potion, but that really is all you are going to need. Now, the starting location is between Lumbridge and the Drainer, um, right here in the middle, north of the Wizard's Tower. And as I said, most of the uh, most of this mini quest takes place around this area, so no teleports are needed. Um, if you want, you can read through the dialogue. It's pretty funny, but we're just gonna skip through it. And the first option you're gonna choose is gonna be option one: swap swapped places with your head, and then you're just gonna hold space, talking with Rick. So the first option was one, the, the second one is also one. Uh, we're gonna say, sure, I'll help you. And that is going to start the mini quest. Now we're gonna make our way to his room in the wizard's tower, um, which is going to be right across this bridge. So I'm not gonna be skipping anything or anything like that. We're just gonna go through it together. If I miss a step, it is what it is. You know, I'm a human, I forget. There's no wiki guides out or any other guides out, but I'll try to make sure to make this as fast and, uh, you know, as precise as possible. So you're gonna climb to the first floor in the wizard's tower and you're gonna use portal to Rick's room. And then you're gonna search around the objects until you find the rigs box. Now this is gonna be the puzzle to which the answer might be actually different. Uh, okay, the wi wizard, Mizgok, Cedar, and Trainbor walked into the bar. The bartender serves them two wizard mind bobs and one is guarding an ale. The bar closes at 11, at which point the bar uh, everyone leaves. How many people left the bar? Four, including the bartender. That's gonna be your answer. And you got yourself a rig's head. I do believe you need to return to him right now. I may be wrong. So I'm just gonna quickly speak to him. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, you gotta return to the Rick. And then later on, we gotta speak to that fella up there. Um, okay, so now at this point in the quest, you should be having Rick's head in your inventory. And you also unlocked C minor shanty, which is very cool. And we're just gonna run right back. And speak to Rick once again between Lumbridge and Drainer. Over here he is. We're gonna talk with him. And we found his head, so he's very uh, happy with that, but he can't really do anything with it just yet, right? So there we go. Now we gotta make our way back into the wizard's tower, because this is where he is. But now we first need to talk to the mage, and that mage is going to be on top of the wizard's tower. So once again, we are running back. And here you can see how a stamina potion can come in handy if your agility level is a little bit lower. Um, I think I might actually be fine with without one, but you know, better safe than sorry. So we're gonna climb up the stairs twice in the wizard's tower. We're gonna talk to wizard Mizgog, and we're gonna talk about Rick. And we're gonna space bar through this conversation. And then we're gonna talk with him again. I believe, and we're gonna talk about Eve next, so there we go, once again we speak to him, we click one, and we talk about Eve for a second here, just like so. Alright, so now we're gonna have to find Eve, I'm quickly gonna check here if that's okay with Rick, yeah, I think we're good, we're good to continue, so we're gonna go ahead and speak to Eve right now, so once again we are gonna be running uh, north of the Wizard's Tower, and then we're gonna go into the Lumbridge Swamp, right over here, uh, north of the place where you can get a ghost speak amulet. Um, 30 agility, I mean 30 run energy. Might need a stamina potion. Okay, so once you make your way here, you're gonna inspect the bonfire. Just like so. Doing this actually makes me appreciate Slayer music. Dude, this shit is weird, man. Especially since I don't have any notes written on the side. I'm just doing this on top of my head. Dude, it actually takes some preparation and stuff to do, like, guides and whatnot. And this is, like, obviously very simple, very self-explanatory. Um, so it's it's really easy to do, right? But let's say if you're doing a quest guide for a quest, you really get to appreciate how much effort goes into making something like that. Um, okay, so we meet Eve over here. She's uh, summoning a bunch of things. Very cool. And the first thing we're going to do, we're going to talk with her right after the cutscene ends. And uh, our character is very confused as to what's going on around here uh, right now. So, here we go. We're gonna speak to Eve very quickly. And we're just gonna hold spacebar through this part of the mini quest. 
and then we're gonna take a spider from the barrel of spiders we're gonna eat it we're gonna dance by the bonfire we're gonna take brew from the cauldron of brew north of the bonfire and we're gonna drink that as well and now we're gonna speak to Eve again and we're gonna talk about Rick and she should be giving us incantation right now I believe there it is and with that we now have to return to Rick and that will be the Halloween event 2020 completed I believe um, so I just speed through this and check out the rewards some of the rewards are really cool a sneak peek is right over here the head is missing and uh, it appears that I in fact might need one stamina dose yep interesting right so we go up here into the second floor in the wizard's tower uh, we click to portal to Rick's room on the northern wall and we talk with Rick and we should be entering a cutscene in a moment here there it is and after this cutscene ends our boy Rick is gonna have a brand old head on top of him which is very cool here we go hocus pocus Pumpkinolus Kulus. There we go. And that's gonna be it. Very nice. Very enjoyable little um, Halloween event. I think it was very well done. A bunch of cutscenes. Very nice job in that department, I'd say. Hopefully I could help some of you guys in completing uh, this quest. I'm, this is obviously going on my second channel because I just wanted to do this for, you know, whoever was wondering. Uh, now the rewards for this one are Headless Head. Which is kind of cool, you know, it makes your character not have head, which is awesome. And you can also put your magical pumpkin in your home if you want to do that. Now, I haven't done this in the past events on this account, so you also get those if you haven't completed them yet. You get some interesting combinations, actually. Very cool. Uh, but there we have it. Uh, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, a simple like, comment, whatever you want, uh, help me out. And I'll catch you guys again very soon with another video. Have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye.